could this be the most honest place in the country? Somebody's been leaving bundles of cash all over Blackhall Colliery for the last five years, and the local residents have been handing in that money to the police. In total, £24,000, and the most recent was on Monday. You'd have to imagine the potential is that there's other money being found that hasn't been handed into us. You know, we might never know the amount of that. But I'm still just thinking how great it is that, as I say, in a village, maybe 5,000 people live in this village, to have so many honest people, you know, their first instinct is to get straight to the police station. And I say, some of them are shaking when they come in. They just want that money to go straight back to the person who may have, who may have lost it. Have you heard about this money? Yes, I have. I've been up for it all. <laughs> it's a testament to people around here, though, that there's so many honest people live here, isn't it? Who do you think's done it? No idea. It's not you, is it? No, it's not me. I'm not that rich. <laughs> One package was found near the local butchers by a customer who didn't want to be identified. And I, I said to him, hey, what the hell is that? And I picked it up. I thought it was £20. So when I got home, I phoned the police and they said, oh, bring it over, but not the first one. Four or five. I didn't know how much was in it, because I never counted it. And they counted out and they said 2,000. And I think it's a modern day Robin Hood, just generosity to the community. Um, and you haven't found any yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> if the money handed in isn't claimed, then that money gets returned to the person who found it. So far, none of the money has been claimed, which means it pays, to be honest. Sure in a saga, BBC Look North, Blackhall Colliery.